Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'll be working in Affinity Designer along with Pixel Over to create another character from vector to pixel art using just basic shapes, in this case just circles, deforming them, modifying them, recoloring them to create the character in under 15 minutes. The penguin was created in reply to a comment on social media about the lengths it takes to create a pixel art sprite. Rather than draw it, I decided to build it with circles. If we look at the face, for example, the head itself is a slightly squashed circle. So is the face. I added two nodes on the top and brought the center node in and adjusted the other nodes just a little bit to elongate it and round it less on the sides. The eye is an ellipse where the bottom node has been moved in and then the angle of that curve has been changed. Let's start with the new character. Again, the base is a circle. It came out orange, so I decided to go with a fox for this character. I did speed up the video here it took 10 minutes to create the character and I did condense it in order not to bore you. But you can see it is working on the circles, turning them into curves, moving the nodes, duplicating as much as I can and picking and adjusting the colors. I'm approaching the 10 minute mark here, so I'm gonna call the sketch done, group the whole thing and export it as a PNG file, making sure that it is big enough. In this case, it is 800 pixels plus, that is a good size. And we want to export just the selections, choose the area as selection only, save it as the PNG file and then switch over to pixel over. And here I open the file that we have our high res fox. I'm reducing the size, in this case, the height to 64 pixels, giving him 80 by 64 pixels. As this image is still full color, next up is the color reduction. So we go to indexation, set the color to a new palette and let the program create it for us. Eight colors is a little bit too low, so I changed it to 16 colors, put on a little bit of the ring. It creates some of the in-between colors, but you don't want to go overboard like in this case, there's too many pixels in the shield and the handle of the X. The medium there is something you need to find. Lastly, I put the inline on and set the screen border to on that way it creates lines where the sprite touches the edge i export the sprite and go back to affinity designer bringing it in there as a new image working in the pixel persona with the pixel tool and a one pixel brush i'm touching up the parts that i don't like the black outline needs to be softened a little bit i try to bring out some of the details that got blurred like the twos or a little bit of the shading that could be changed with a few pixels here and there. I could definitely spend a little more time on this, polish it a little bit further, but I'm reaching the five minute mark, which puts me over the 15 minutes with the time I spend on pixel over. Overall, it took less than 20 minutes, not quite the 15 minutes I was aiming for, and I could easily spend another five to 10 minutes on the pixel part. Overall, I think it turned out to be a decent game sprite. 
done quickly and easily with just circles on the vector side, the scaling and the color reduction done in pixel over and touched up on the pixel side just to polish the sprite a little bit more. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you learned something new today, hit the like button to celebrate your new bit of knowledge. Even better, subscribe to the channel to keep updated on what is happening. And let me know with the comment below if you want to see something in the channel or on my website and I'll see you again soon.